Hi everyone, this is Pasha. In this video, I want to show you how to interpret data for the site links that you have added to your Google Ads campaigns. When you create campaigns on Google Ads, you can add multiple ad extensions to improve the performance of your campaigns, including site links, callouts, image extensions, and other types of ad extensions. Now let's see how to read the data for those ad extensions. I'm on the campaign page of my Google Ads account. On the left side menu, under Ads and Extensions, click on Extensions. In this page, you can see the different ad extensions that you have added to your campaigns. We want to look at the site links. I'm going to click on site links. Now we can see different site links for different campaigns that we have added. The first thing that you need to add here is click on the segment on the top and select this extra extensions versus other. As you see, we have a segment here for other versus these extensions. These extensions is showing data for the site link only. So when you want to read data, you just need to look at the data for these extensions, not other. The other row represents data for any other clickable parts of the ad, which could include the ad's headline or other site links and extensions. So they might not be useful, those data might not be useful when we want just to review the data for the site links. So again, I'm going to show you on the segment, you should add a segment for this extension versus others. Now we can add the columns that we want to look at. We have impression, cost, click, and click-through rate. I'm going to add new columns for conversions. Modify columns looking for conversion and apply if you only run in one campaign you can easily read data through the platform but because i am running multiple campaigns and i have added mostly the same uh, site links to different campaigns i need i would prefer to download data in an excel file so to look at the summary of all those extensions in different campaigns, I'm going to download the data in Excel CSV. Okay, my file is downloaded. Let me open that. Okay, this is the file that I downloaded from Google Ads data. As you see, there are many different site links and campaigns, so it would be a little difficult to read those data on the platform. So I would prefer to download them in Excel. The first thing that you want to do is remove the first two rows as they are extra and we, they are not going to help us and delete them. Now I'm going to add a pivot table so I can look at the summary of data. On the top menu of your Excel file, click on Insert, Pivot, Table. Here, we are going to create a pivot table for our data. Here are different columns uh, that we had in our Excel uh, file. For this Fill this extension versus the other. Add that to the filters section. So you can filter your data 
uh, only on these extensions. The default is going to show all the available options. We just want to select this extension. Now I'm going to add site link text to the rows. Here are my site link text, different site links that I have added to my campaigns. Now I'm going to add the data to the value section. I'm going to add cost, impression, clicks, and you can also add other different data such as conversion or any other kind of data that you want to look at. For site links, I would prefer to usually click, uh, look at the click through rate. For the click through rate, you need to add a new formula field to your pivot table. Here, just click somewhere on your pivot table data on the top menu on fields, items, and sets. Click on calculated fields. The way to calculate click through rate or CTR, you need to create a formula. I created a name for that. You can add any name that you want. For the formula, for the CTR is clicks divided into impressions. I selected clicks divided into impression. Now I'm going to add this new field to my pivot table. Okay. Because uh, click-through rate is a percentage format, we are going to add, change the format to percentage. Okay. Now I have all the data I, I, I need. These are my site links, site link text, and I have only selected these extensions. Let me show you the difference between these extensions and other. If I use both, you see there is a very big difference between other and this extension. For example, other has a very high cost and high click through rate. But this doesn't tell us how this a, a specific site link for coaching services is performing. What we want to look at this extension for coaching services. So that's why I filter my data for the this extension versus other field into this extension only. Let me sort my data based on click-through rate. Click-through rate tells you how many people clicked at, how many percentage of people clicked on your site link. The higher click-through rate tells you that the site link is performing better. As you see, the first site link with the highest click-through rate is search jobs with a click-through rate of 4.84% which is very high why I say is high is because I am comparing that to the performance of other site links all other site links have percentage below 1% but this one has a percentage around 5% so when you are reviewing data for your site links to decide whether one uh, click-through rate is high or low, you need to compare the, date, the performance of different site links to each other. There's not really a benchmark to decide whether, for example, 4% is high or low. No, you want to compare them to your campaigns only. I see there are two site links talent retention services and HR advisory and cons consulting with very low click-through rate below 0.01%. So this tells me that these two site links are not attractive to users. 
when they search for my ads, when my ads are showing with my site links, people do not like to click on these two site links. What I can do is pause these two site links, remove them from my campaign, and instead test new site links instead of them to see whether I can find better site links with better performances. So if I, add, I find, if I can test better site links with better CTR, they will improve the overall CTR and click through rate of my campaigns and it will improve the overall ad rank for my ads. So we'll, my ads will show more when people search for my keywords. That's the importance of my site links with high click-through rate. When you add site links, you want to read the data. You want to analyze the data to see how they are performing. If they have low CTR, you want to pause them and test new ones instead of them. And if you find a CTR with high click-through rate, high CTR, if it is added only to one or two campaigns, you might want to decide to add it to more campaigns if that is a related site link. I hope this short tutorial to read data for site links was useful to you. If you have any questions, post it in the comments. Thank you.